So, if you're watching this video, which you are, you probably came over from the other video where we took some 8th inch flat steel to make an upgraded version of these, which are the plates that you use to lock your door. If you've not seen that video, link will be in the description or in the top right corner of the screen in the card. So, in that video, I had to replace some of the wood of the door jam, and I just went ahead and plugged it with some pikrite, or pikrete, however you pronounce it. Since I was using glue, I had to have some way to put pressure on them so they wouldn't come back out of the door jam. So, I came up with this. Now, this is about the most simplest way that I could figure out how to do it, and it's not perfect, uh, but it definitely worked. So basically, I took some 2x2 two two pine and I made an L shape out of one using a mortise and tenon, which is only the second one I've ever done. And the other piece is just a straight piece of 2x2 two two with this little piece coming off here, as you can see, that's been glued and nailed down. Um, I didn't want that butt joint to come loose, so obviously had to, uh, to use some nails there. And I used three 8-penny nails. Now you can figure that out by looking at this pretty much, so I'm going to show you kind of how this works and the tools that you need to operate it are very simple. A C-clamp, or I guess any clamp would work, but I used a C-clamp, 6 inch C-clamp. And some type of quick grip clamp that you can use to keep these from spreading apart. Now the way this works is I wanted to use clamping pressure to create outward pressure. And I tried to do this with just two pieces of wood, kind of butted up to the to the each end like this, you know, one was going one way, one was going the other, and I tried to put the clamp on kind of at an angle here so it would push, but that did not work. And that's why I had to make these. So the way these work is you have to figure out the approximate distance that you're going to need to be clamping or, you know, applying that pressure with. And you take your hand clamp here and you just set it down here on this side. And that keeps them from spreading apart, but it also keeps them uh, you know, kind of locked together here so they won't come back apart and they'll, they'll, they'll act as one. Then all you have to do is get this set where you need it and then take your clamp and start tightening them down. Anyways guys, that was just a real quick explanation of how these work. If there's any other way of doing this that I'm unaware of, please drop it down in the comment section of this video. Also check out the video that these were being used in, link is in the description or in the card. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did leave it a big thumbs up, it'd be much appreciated and as always, Hopefully you have a fantastic day and we'll see you later.